Right, in the middle of a murder investigation. I bet. Yes, really, cat. Like literally, start the video and get me out for attention every time. There you go. Is that not what you wanted? What do you want? Uh, yeah, I've played a couple of other games, took a little break from this, because, I don't know, just this game, it takes it out of me, because everything is just so slow. Get off on the horse here. Or not. Go read it, it'll kill some time where I'll need to eat again. Is there a chair in here somewhere? And why didn't I gain a level? Build book for reading. I read it. It says I finished it. Okay. Of course, the shit from here. So if you don't study these books, you just read them. Hopefully I can sell them back now that I've read them. Here. What do you want? Here. Come here. Come here, cat. Of trying to pick her up when she didn't want to be picked up. I'll read for three hours. You 
if not then after that person seeing things. So the whole town is the search area. That won't be tedious. Uh, start with the book salesman. Should be able to sell them back with the books now that I've read them. I won't make it as much back, but it's something. So, you have a name. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The there again. wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and or even talked church. to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Or a bad priest. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far Bronx. as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. That's what Escape I'm should thinking. really pull you out of that menu. I God keep bless. hitting it and then sit there like, why is nothing happening? I don't learn. Stubborn that way. Or stupid. Or both. I don't know to talk to now. Of course, it's not gotta figure out where the church is. But, you know, that's a... Something that'll happen naturally as I wander around here. I hope so. It is not, but it is a traitor. Good health to you. Unequipped again. Stop unequipping my shit. No, oh, because I pulled out a torch. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Give me all your shit. Time to make some sales.
I'm coming. I will sell this to you shortly. So he's got for sale. There's anything I want. I've overshot. Just the other way. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Aye, that would do it. Right. Still slow as hell. I can alleviate that hopefully. All arrows are that's weighing me down now. Find another salesperson. Yeah. 
seems like the stuff I stole that I put on the horse have become unstolen. That seems like a glitch. I guess I didn't have to go far to find the traitor. God be with you. Ah, but he only wants a limited amount of things. Let's have a word about the price. Hi. What about this? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Man, it did one notch, asshole. Uh, you're flaying me here. Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Very well, That's all. I agree. Let everyone see him disgraced. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You have How a are good you, Henry? Heart. Jesus, look where you're going. And this is some karma. Giving a convict a drink. Is someone there? No. Weird how they don't like you just wandering into their houses and maybe taking things. Maybe just exploring. That looks like a church. You look like a priest. One thirty. All right, get two hours till my ribs are done cooking. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neukov, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, Raiding Neuhoff? I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you, I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If yeah, people the believe the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. 
Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't me. tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. I'm pro witch. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. My respects to you. Father Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. What is it? We gotta talk to the witch well and wait for it to get dark. All that interesting to me. See if I can just hit that tree. Ah, see the arrows sticking out of it. Yeah. 
Talk to this witch and hopefully be able to sell her some stuff. Got ribs in a slow cooker right now. It smells so goddamn good because it's over half done. Been in there like five hours. No, it's been in there like six hours. Come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Don't you know that witches get burned alive? There's no need for trouble. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you. Or and the bitches tripping and balls. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks? The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? A little bit of calm, a little bit of calm, me. And why are you so worried about it? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. 
Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. Woman looks a little frail. I think she might weigh about as much as a duck. Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them through that. They wanted to talk with the dead. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Alright, so before you go, would you mind, uh, you know, tell me some shit? really gets you high. Oh, cool. Now that's gonna kill me, isn't it? <sighs> Seriously? Great. Well, that just demotivated me from playing, dying to a goddamn glitch. So, second death in this game, first one was to thinking, oh, I'm supposed to be getting hurt because the cutscene just hurt me. Second to a fucking glitch. Uh, at least I didn't lose that much progress, but still, it's enough to annoy me into not playing for right now. So, I'm done.